again in my video. Boom! Welcome back to Boring Reviews. Boring Land! Oh, Come just on. kidding. Blasphemer! Oh, Hello, my. Boring Review Nation! <laughs> All right, welcome back to Boring Reviews. Nick here. Gabe. And here in Boring Land, we are going to be doing a very special type of video. I'm super excited about it because we are still, we're still a growing channel. We're still relatively small. Right. But any kind of help we can give others is what we want to do. So our top patron, Avi Chan, he his, he's got a YouTube channel named Avi Chan Incorporated. I'm going to put his little logo right here. Go ahead and check out his channel. He's been starting to do some movie reviews. I think he wanted to do some travel vlogs early on, but with the whole coronavirus nonsense, he's doing some movie reviews. And I just watched his review on She. It's a Netflix series. And, and I really enjoyed his review, especially since he mentioned one of my favorite actors, Vijay Varma from Gully Boy and Boggy 3 and other things. But he has requested, here's his request right here, for us to react to his own short film. It's seven minutes long called Air 2040, original short film BNB. So it's super cool, I think, that we're able to not just look at a short film created by someone that we actually know through YouTube, right. but to hopefully be able to help that video grow just a little bit would really, really be awesome and special for me. Absolutely, absolutely. Um, and, you know, when you got a platform, one of the good things to do is put, pay it forward. You know what I mean? A lot of the way um, we got to where we're at right now is by people, you know, giving us suggestions and, hey, you know, um, watch this video. This gets a lot of love, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. And it only makes sense for us to pay it forward. I've never been so creative to to do a short a, a short film. You know what I mean? It takes a lot of guts to be able to do something like that. Um, I mean, I joke around a lot with you that man, some of these movies we review, especially some of these Hollywood movies, are so bad. I'm so mad still at what they did with the most recent um, Invisible Man and Blood. Oh, they could have done so much better. Don't get me started on Hellboy. And I always say, Nick, you've written a book before. Me and you could go ahead and uh, write our own screenplay and you know write our you know film our own movie. But it's got to be hard when you really. Oh, think I can't about imagine. It. I mean, write a book was tough enough, but at least. It's a book. It's something that you've you've read many, many books in your life. Right. I haven't read too many scripts in my life. And to be able to create on the page, not just the dialogue from the actors, but setting up the scene, where are they at, what is their mood, what happened before, and just in the dialogue itself, it's super tough. That's actually how the, my book right here, The Legend of Sturgis Baraha, got started. I wanted to make a script first, so I started writing out a script the only way I knew how and it was exhausting. And I'm like, you know, scrap this. No one's going to watch it anyways. It's never going to get made. Let me just write a book. Um, so, yeah, I agree with you. This this is super awesome to watch. I'm excited to check it out. Um, I am ready if you are. All right, my friend. Go ahead. Let's uh, get the countdown going in three, two, one. दो हजार चालीस देर आर सब टाइटल्स इस दुनिया में और ज्यादा कुछ बचा नहीं है पानी हवा या ये वेदर सब कुछ खराब हो चुका है गंदा हो चुका है स्लोअर स्पीड सेट अप मैं बहुत बीमार हूँ एक इंसान करीबन पाँच सौ सात सौ लीटर ऑक्सीजन या शायद उससे ज्यादा ब्लैक एंड व्हाइट स्कूल सांस लेते हैं एक ही दिन में मेरे फेफड़े खराब हो चुके हैं इसका मतलब मुझे 700 लीटर से कहीं ज्यादा लगता है अब साफ हवा सांस लेने से नहीं मिल रही अब खरीदना पड़ता है कुछ कंपनियां साफ हवा बेच रही हैं हम ये मास्क खरीद जिससे सांस ले सके 
आजकल वेदर काफ़ी ख़राब है पेड़ पौधे और कम हो गए हैं और मेरी ज़रूरत बढ़ती जा रही है जीना भी है और उसकी कीमत भी है एक लीटर का एक डॉलर वन लीटर वन यू एस डॉलर ऑफ एयर चीज कल मेडिकल शॉप में ज़्यादा एयर पाउचेस नहीं थी मैं सिर्फ आठ दिन के लिए ही ले आई हूँ अभी बहुत शॉर्टेज हो रही है आजकल एयर पाउचेस की क्या करूँ कुछ समझ नहीं आ रहा है How relative is this तो बहुत दिक्कत हो जाएगी really मालूम था ये दिन आएगा जरूर लेकिन मेरी जिंदगी इस सांस की मोहताज हो जाएगी कभी नहीं सोचा था ऐसा इट्स इंटरेस्टिंग हाउ ही बिल्ड सस्पेंस जस्ट विद द विंड यू नो व्हाट आई मीन आठ दिन का ही स्टॉक है आठवें दिन के बाद स्टॉक आने में दो दिन लगेंगे तब तक हमें कम सांस लेना होगा मैं थोड़ा वक्त मास्क के बिना सांस ले लूँगी ताकि तुम्हारे लिए थोड़ा और हो जाए लेकिन तुम स्ट्रेस मत लो और सोचो मत ज़्यादा नहीं तो और सांस लगेगी तुम्हें मैं कोशिश करती हूँ अगले कुछ दिनों में थोड़ा और खरीद के ले आओ पर अगला स्टोर बहुत दूर है सोसाइटी से वहाँ जाने से मेरी सास खर्च हो जाएगी पर मैं देखती हूँ क्या कर सकते हैं कुछ दिन है जीने को वो भी चैन से सांस नहीं ले सकते क्योंकि सांस खर्च हो जाएगी क्या फायदा है ऐसी जिंदगी का पीने का पानी और सांस लेने की हवा जब जहर बन जाए तब ये इंडिकेशन है कि दुनिया में अब कोई भी चीज ज्यादा दिन चलने नहीं वाली नहीं रहने वाली ज्यादा दिन ऐसे जिंदगी जी के मैं सिर्फ अपने आप पे एहसान कर रहा हूं अब मन नहीं करता कुछ साल बाद पीने का पानी भी खत्म हो जाएगा पेड़ पौधे तो वैसे ही नहीं रहे ये कंपनियां अभी साफ हवा बेच रही हैं। इसीलिए बेच रही है क्योंकि साफ करने लायक हवा बाकी है क्या होगा जब सांस लेने लायक हवा एकदम से कम हो जाएगी मजाक लगता था ये सब जब 20-25 साल पहले लोग ये बातें करते थे सुपर कहते थे वो अब नहीं रहे जो हैं उन्होंने कभी वो दिन देखे ही नहीं जब खुली हवा में सांस ले सकते थे कुछ नहीं रहेगा सब खत्म हो जाएगा
do it. So he just did he just kill himself? It's over, man. Save water, save air, save the, uh, save the earth. Now the title makes sense. Air 2040. Yeah, the year 2040. Okay, so I uh, I have a few thoughts. Um, I think it's a very interesting premise. It's not that one that we've ever that I've ever seen or known about being right. made yet. So that's that's very cool. Mad props for that creativity. Very original. Um, Whenever I think about making a short film, then I, uh, that was my son right there. Whenever I feel up to hear about making a short film, I think, you know, the kind of money it would take and the resources. Avi here, he, he made one like in his own home and with minimal amount of actors, but he was able to portray that story in seven minutes to where without having those special effects or whatever these big budgets, you still understand, like you said, the eerie feeling, feeling the dire nature of the story he's telling. No, definitely. Um, I think uh, Kevin Feige said it best when um, he was being interviewed about hire, hiring James Gunn, right, for Guardians of the Galaxy. And this is before James Gunn was huge. You know, he had done a few small projects here and there. You know, they said, listen, if you can tell a story, you can tell a story. It doesn't matter. You know what I mean? And you can tell a story without needing all the CGI, without needing all the special effects. You could just create tone, which he did a really good job of there because we had that tone during the entire short seven minutes. It was very eerie, very dark, which was why the black and white was a great choice for it. Um, you know, uh, uh, one of the things that from the video right away, I was like, it's so relevant. I think you said it first because of what's going on today, you know, shortages in hospitals. As a matter of fact, I just heard on um, CNN, I think it was, that there were hospitals that were running out of oxygen. I'm like, how do you run out of oxygen? But if you think about it, you know, the oxygen that they pump in, you know, they actually have to bring it in. It's all canistered. You know what I'm saying? Because it's pure oxygen. So it, it, it was super, super eerie. And now that you, at the end, you get it. Oh, air 2040. He said 20. He said, uh, 20, 25 years ago, nobody cared. And, you know, now today. So if you look at the timeline, he probably made this back, what, in 2015, maybe? Well, he posted it just uh, about a, a week and a half to two weeks ago. Okay. Who knows how long he's been working on this story? Right, right, so, right. yeah, maybe he started writing it in 2015. And it was just a matter of, you know, let's actually get something done. Right. Um, it looks like it's just to give a little bit of props to the credits. It looks like it's him. And it's uh, Banupriya Singh who put this together. He wrote and directed, produced it, and all this stuff. She, I'm assuming, she's one of the the other actresses in there, and she helped with some other things. But I, so I think it's it's very interesting film, a short film. I haven't watched too many short films, so I mean that was cool. It's very creative of an idea. It definitely set the tone. Like it sounded like an air conditioning was going off at first. That's why I thought like maybe he put a microphone inside an air vent, turn on the air conditioning, and got that for the sound. I uh, if if I want to just give a little bit of a pointer, I would say maybe to have that sound not break up every time he switches the scene, mm -hmm. to have that overlay of that sound over the entire video. So no matter how many cut scenes he's doing, right. it has that. Um, but other than that, I thought it was super impressive. I liked his use of sound and then the heartbeat at the end to help us know that that heartbeat is there at the end for a reason to help us convey the message that he's just giving up and he's ready to die. I thought that was cool. The, the few sounds he chose to use were very powerful and were um, they were a character in his story. So I thought that was neat. You know, it was... Uh... If I were going to make a critique, it would be the same, the transitions, you know what I mean? Because every time there was a transition, then we went like to black and there was like no sound, you know what I mean? So I would have kept it going as well, um, worked on all those transition, maybe, um, you know, cut scenes. I know some directors like it, some people don't, you know, as long as you do it well, it doesn't really matter. Um, I think that... 
the biggest thing is the premises. And some people, when they do exposition, they do it poorly. And you're like, ah, oh. but I think that that was the strongest part of the film. You know what I mean? When he, he never broke character. He always had that, uh, underlying desperate tone when he was speaking and it just gave it a really eerie feeling like man this is somebody at the end of their ropes you know what i mean so i I did enjoy that yeah he definitely didn't break character when he was delivering those lines very deliberately and very Mm -hmm. slowly that helped us know that this guy is not in the best health and so he's having a hard time getting it out but he wasn't over the top with oh now it hurts like he he did a nice mellow um ease there and even even the woman in the in the movie there who also delivering lines, she did a little faster pace than he did, but still nice and deliberate so that we can really marinate on what they're saying. So uh, that was really cool. Thanks, Avi, for letting us react to that. We um, we really hope that those who are watching this video will, you know, give this movie a chance go to his channel, check out other stuff that Avi, Avi Chan has on there and what he has to deliver. I think, like you said, if someone can tell a story, they can tell a story. And so I'm excited to see what other stories he wants to tell. Definitely mad props for the creativity. I think that's the most important thing in any movie is the creativity of how you push forward that story and what that story is. But um, with all that being said, if you have any special requests like Avi had, consider being a patron. That's where we, uh, we make those kind of things happen. We do these type of reactions for our patrons because they do so much for us. If you want to be a patron, just look at our description box below to figure out how to do that. I understand right now it's kind of tough times and it's not really something that's in a lot of people's mind. I just want to throw it out there for those of us who um, would like to do so. But with that being said, until next time. We know all things.